I'm going to show you today how to create a simple sales report in Improvit 360. Okay, so as you can see, I'm logged into my Improvit 360 system. I'm already in the Reports tab. I'll start by clicking the New Report button. In this screen, I'll be asked to select a report type. Think about the report type as the tab in the application that you want to pull data into a report from. So in this scenario, I'm going to pull a report of my total sales by month for the last calendar year. So I usually pull my sales data from my sales tab. So if I type sales in here, I'll see that the sales report type comes up. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click the Create button. Now what I'm looking at is the report preview screen. So here you can see that it's automatically dropped in the name of the sale into my preview area. This is where I'll be able to see what my report looks like as I make changes to it. Up here at the top is where any of my filters will be added. Filters can be used to include or exclude only certain pieces of information. Um, the date field up here is where I can specify the date range for the data that I'd like to pull into this report. And then over here at the left, you can see a list of all the fields that I have available that are on that sales tab that I usually work from. Um, those fields are all in here, and I can add those into my report if I'd like to. So what I'll do next is basically I want to look at all sales, not just mine. If I keep it on my sales, it's only going to show me sales that I have created. So in order to create this report that shows all my sales dollars by month for the last year, I'm going to choose all sales. Now for my date field, I want to look at the sold on date. And here in this range pick list, I have several options of date ranges that I'd like to select from. If you don't want to use one of the ranges that are already predefined in here, you can choose custom and enter your own date ranges using these calendar drop downs from and to. For this example, I'm going to scroll down and use the previous calendar year. So this is going to show me all my sales data from 2012. Next I'll add a filter by clicking this Add button. And let's say I want to exclude any sale that was canceled. So in this drop-down list, I have all my sale fields once again. I'm going to scroll down to my status field because that will say canceled if the sale has been canceled. I select that. Say status is not equal to, and then if I click this little magnifying glass, it pulls up the status options that I currently have in my Improve It 360 system. So I'll just check the box next to canceled, insert that value, click OK. So now this preview is showing me all of my sales that are not canceled. OK, so next, I know I want to group my report by the month and the year that it was sold. So this listing that I have right here, I don't have a way to create basically a summary. So I'm going to change this format from tabular, which is kind of like looking at an Excel spreadsheet of data. It's not grouping it. I'm going to change it from tabular to summary. And now I have this little blue area where I can drop in a field that I want to summarize my data by. So up in this quick find search area, I'm going to look for my sold on field, which is the date that the sale was made. So you can see as I type that in, it narrows down information. Here's my sold on date field. I can just drag this into the blue area until it lights up with the little green checkbox. Release my mouse, and now you can see that it's grouping by the sold on date. So I'm one step closer, but as you look at this, you can see I don't really want to group by the date. I want to group by the month and the year. So in this little drop-down, I can choose Group Dates By. Currently has Day selected. But I can scroll down to Calendar Month. And now it's going to say, OK, here are all my sales that were sold in January 2012, April 2012, et cetera, et cetera. You'll see that this preview does not have all the, the information. Um, the preview only shows you a little bit of the data that will end up being in your actual report. So let's go ahead and run this so we can see what it looks like with all of our data. And you can see that there are a lot more records in here. And it does put the dates chronologically. OK. So let's go back into the report and make a few more changes by clicking this Customize button. 
That takes us back into edit mode. And let's add the sold price field to the report as well. So I'm going to drag this over. Um, it'll highlight that little um, blue bar on the, on the right, kind of showing me where it's going to drop the field. So now you can see my sold price has been added in. However, I want it to total for my month. So if I hover over the sold price field and click this arrow, I can select an option to summarize the field. So I'll click the sum and the average checkbox. That'll show me both of those values for each month. Click apply, and you can see that it automatically does those calculations for me. So now let's say I don't want to look at all this detailed information every time I pull this report. I just want to see the month and my total amount. This arrow next to the show button, if I deselect this details option, it will hide all that detailed data. So now when I go to run my report, you see that I don't have the details. I just have a snapshot for each month. Finally, let's walk through how to add a chart to a report. So I'll go back into Customize and click this Add Chart button. Up here I have a variety of options that I can choose from for the type of chart I'd like to create. Usually when we're looking at time, we might want to evaluate a trend. So in this example, I'll pick a line graph. So it defaults it the way I would actually like to see this. So it's got my sold price on the left and my month basically on, on the bottom. So if I want to go ahead and click OK, you can see my charts on here. I'll run my report. And here I have my, my trend information. Um, for the report I just created. If you'd like to export the report into Microsoft Excel or into a CSV file, you can click this Export Details option. And this is going to export all of the data in the report, not just the grouping. So this is perfect if you want to see every single sale line item and exactly how much that sale was. You can see I have a CSV file option here as well. I'm going to exit out of that. And let's say I just want to export a view that looks exactly like this. I can click this printable view button. And that will basically open it up in Excel. And bring this over. Okay, here it is. That will open this up into an Excel. Um, in a format that looks pretty much, you know, what it looked like when I was generating it in my Improva 360 system. So that's just a quick example of some of the great things you can do with the report builder. Um, and we'll be back with more sessions on this topic. Thanks for your time.